Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving an issue with the CD PUSER SVC failed to read description and it's followed by an error code 15100. So, this could definitely be an issue with a corrupted service or a permission issue with the Microsoft Store. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this issue without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with Command Prompt. You want to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit. And then select paste. Hit enter on your keyboard. It should say success once that's done. Close it here. And now I want you also to open up the start menu and type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should go back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just left click on the file tab and then select export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you are making the backup. Export range should be kept to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would just put select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So once you've made your backup, ready to begin. And we are going to start by expanding the HK local machine folder by double clicking on it. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Should be a services folder now. Double click on that. And finally, this should be a CDP user SVC right here. And if you do need to pause the video at this point, you can see the path up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So now you want to locate on the right side the start value. There should be a D word value in here. This is start. Double click on it. You want to set this value data to 4. So delete the 2. Type the number 4. This is going to disable it. You should take note of what it was before as well, so you can see it's still saved in here before we actually click save. And you can also probably do control Z here as well, and you can see that it's still what it was originally. It's still saved in there, but we're going to delete whatever is in there. Type the number 4. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. Once that's done, you should close out of here. Again, restart your computer. You do have to restart your computer for that to take effect, and then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. One final thing you can attempt here would be to run a system file checker utility scan, and we would accomplish this by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, we're going to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word with that forward slash out front. Hit enter and keyboard to run this. It will take some time to run so please be patient.
Okay guys, so once it's done, what's just closing out of here? Restart a computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.